Right, I'm just leaving Piney Sites Farm. As you know, I've been all over from uh, Churchill, Sanford, up the road, up past um, the Roborough Fort at the base of it, all up across the area of Outstanding Beauty, all across the top there. And I came across the she sheep field, down past the stream, then to, um, across a field into Longwood, up Longwood, a long, long sheep field, now through Piney Slates Farm. With all the grass is very wild. I can't see the cows at the moment. Which means I'm quite likely to bump into them. Uh, last time I was there they were all gathered in the corner of a field there. Um, now if I'd known they were all going to be over there I could have gone a different way. Just before Longfield there's a turning and it takes you across these fields here. Well, if the cows are all up that end, I can, I know there's a gate over there. I could have walked across over there and got onto the um, Cheddar Gorge track. There's, because there's um, a couple of stiles over that way. As it is, I've just got a feeling that all the cows are going to be up shading up the sand. I just got this feeling that they're going to be all over where I'm going. I don't know yet. There ain't no sign of them at all, which could mean that they're all down near the blackberry bushes. Do you know what I mean? Which means down that way but they probably make their way back up. They're probably making down and making their way back up. So I've got to see how I get on. Obviously, if I see one in a minute, then I know that they're about. But this is a lovely field, full of, I've taken lots of pictures of this before, different stages of its growth. Different flowers coming and going. And uh, actually, I think I can see the wild goats back. Now, if the wild goats are back, that's quite often a sign that the cows are gone. Because the goats don't seem to come in the fields when the, when the cows are there. Let me just zoom in over there a minute. And I see the cows. No, I reckon that's the goats. The ponies have disappeared by the way. I've seen them for a couple of while now. It could be that the cows have been moved on again. Or they're down in that other valley. We'll soon find out because our evidence will be cow pack. I'm sorry to be so obsessed with them, really, but uh, as you know, I've mentioned it so many times, I've got my reasons. Now, I've got that sun on me now, and that is really hot. This is the peak of the heat now. It's warm in my bones, something beautiful, but it is hot. The sky isn't exactly blue everywhere. And I think we're expecting more thundery weather tomorrow. But isn't it gorgeous here, everyone? There's so many walks around here, and I'm trying to, I've done a lot of them. I'm getting to know this area really well. Really well. See, the cows could all be up sheltering in those trees, by the way. Because of the heat. I thought I saw something then. Probably have to wait till I get closer because it doesn't like um, the sun much, this camera. I thought I'd seen something. Could have been just a clump of turf. Something there, that's, that's probably a goat. 
No, no sign of them at the moment, everyone. Right, I'm back on. I just wanted to check that I had it on. I don't know, see all this wild cow party? I don't know if this is the... I don't reckon this is the sort that cause damage. I think it's that giant cow parsley that you get near lakes. Um, I think this is the cow parsley we've all grown up with. So right, me, um, because it's warm, my, my zoom lens didn't want to pop back in. So that just like slightly turn it off for a second. I don't know what video this is. But it sure is a beautiful day, everyone. We have to make the most of it. I'm, but I come out here all year round. Apart from I don't come out in storms. Um, I don't always come out when it's very windy either, to be quite honest. There's some things I just... Uh, I do like coming out when it's sunny, though, despite all the insects. I mean, it's just so beautiful, you know? The peace. And especially when you haven't got a garden. I haven't got a garden. My, Grove Park's my garden. I used to have a garden. I used to have a lot of things. But I'm moving on, like we all do. We downsize. We. It's good. Change is good for you. Change is good. It makes you think. Uh, makes you react. Respond. Be alert. Cope with chaos. Got to be able to do it. But you've got to keep fit to a certain extent. Not going mad. I've done all my marathon running, all my two mile swims and all that. I used to be in the. I used to be a lifesaver. I, I um done a lot of swimming in the past as well as cycling and running. So now it's time. You have to go at your own pace. And you've got to take into account your age. You cannot run like a 20 year old, and you shouldn't even bother. You know, some people say, Yeah, I'm still as fit as I was when I. You're not. I'm sorry, your body changes. What it is, you adapt. You adapt. I can see people on the gorge stand, a big group of people looking over. He keeps following me. It's been bees today, a lot of bees about. Must that means there must be a, a nest nearby. If the scouts are keeping an eye on you. If I stop look, if I stop still for too long, a bee will come. God, this is so good. This is so beautiful. I just, you know, I dream about this place. If I want to go to sleep, I don't have trouble sleeping anyway, but I said to someone, I think it was one of my kids said they were tr struggling. Um, I said, well, you've got to take yourself somewhere you enjoy, because I mean, nightmares don't exactly make you sleep. So think of some, some place nice or some place you know, even if it's just a house. Walk about the house. Go from room to room. Go out in the garden. Go up the stairs. Go in the bathroom. Go everywhere. And now I do that with one of the nice house I had once. Our lovely family home, Abbeville. I frequently go there. I didn't want to lose it, but I had no choice. I had to sell it. That's such is life, you see. But anyway, I go to Abbeville and I can, and people can be in it as well. I can have somebody sat in the front room or somebody out in the garden. I can go back in different periods of time when the children were small or when they were teenagers. And I can go up and down the stairs and, uh, Sometimes I start upstairs because if I always start at the bottom, like coming through the front door, I, I am, I'm usually asleep and I never always get upstairs. 
So what I do sometimes, I start in the attic bedroom. I stand there, look out the window, go in, open the little door into the attic room. Oh, look, I've just seen cow back. Oh, that's a bit dodgy, isn't it? I just remembered the cows are coming. I'll be sending myself to sleep. Hold on. Um, yes, yeah, so there's cow pack about. I've got to be alert. There might be cows somewhere. I'm taking my mind off it. Right, anyway, so that's, that's what I do. I go round. And sometimes I start at the top of the house and work my way down. Going in all the bedrooms. Looking out the windows. Um... By doing that, it does make you tired, actually. So that's one thing I do. That's one of the things I do. If I am feeling a bit... So they used to say, count sheep. How boring. Or you can go back to your house at an event. Try to remember an event there. Birthday or Christmas. Um... You know, take yourself back and you will fall off. You will fall to sleep. And it works for me. I don't do it all the time, though. I don't take advantage of that. Because otherwise it wouldn't work. So I would try. I don't often have trouble sleeping. Um, so I wouldn't have to use it very often. Um, but it works for me if I do that. Yeah, it just tends to be something quiet rather, but rather than say go on a ghost train or um, sometimes I can do this walk this peaceful walk I can take myself off I like piney slides I like it here and I can find myself walking up here like my spirit will be one day definitely I would definitely be up here when I'm dead. Part of me will. If uh, any of that's true, I will be up here. Not all the time. Part of me, I said. Right, now that gate is shut. That's interesting. That gate is shut because they're repairing the wall. Right down the very bottom there, let's just zoom in. I can see a couple of cows. There are some cows down there. I don't know how many. There could be a whole herd down there. Because what I've just noticed is the gate is shut. Because they're doing some wall repairs. So they can't get out and wander off down in that field. Although I can see a different herd. Hold on. The herd that I used to meet on another walk are over there, look. See them there? Wait a minute. big herd there. They're the ones that could be roaming around the other side of this gate in a minute. These. These are the ones that could be roaming around Piney Slights and um, the top of Cheddar Gorge. Because there's all these fields down here. Yeah, it could be them. They're not here, so we're okay. And here we are, everyone, back at uh, Piney Slight's views of Axbridge Reservoir. Um, views of another Slight's over there, which I often forget the name of. Um, Crook's Peak, Brent Knoll, 
usual features, the sea. And the gate here is shut. But there is fresh pack. Look. So those cows must be right over there then. Hiya. Now just zoom in on Glastonbury Tour over there. Yeah, they're repairing the wall. I wonder why this wall has got so damaged lately. Could be the cows, maybe. Oh, bloody bees. Oh, there's one around me now. This is the big old style. Look at this lovely big stone style, everyone. Right, I'm going to turn off now. There's um, just real bare warren trees right over there, look. Stick out a mile, they do. Stick out a mile. Right, I'm going to turn off now.